Welcome to Mpuma Kappa TV. I am your host with the most to Kabi Sozweni. I have a great lineup for you today here on Quarren TV. Don't go anywhere. Chill, relax, and enjoy. I will be back. <laughs> If you're a person who enjoys a variety of learning activities, here's my new son with some great educational equipment. Enjoy! Oh, Molweni, Molweni Zitsobozam. Thank you so much. Welcome back to Masinyu Sane. Today we are going to hear a story. A wonderful story of Unk Alimevan. Now, Unk Alimevan was a very mischievous trickster. Mischievous creature. You see, once upon a time, all the great animals on the African continent, they lived in perfect harmony. They lived and they shared everything they had with one another. When the rains came, there was always enough water for everyone to share. But then suddenly, mysteriously, that all changed with the appearance of the mischievous, the naughty Unk Alimevan. It so happened that every single time the rains came, he would drink up all the water and the animals would have no water to drink. Things got so bad that the king of the jungle decided to call a meeting. He called a meeting and he said, Animals, my beloved animals, we need to do something about Unk Almevan. So the animals decided that the next time that the rains came, one of the animals would have to stand guard. To stand guard and watch and wait and make sure that Unk Almevan does not drink up all the water. So, one of the animals had to nominate themselves. Who was it going to be this time? The wise, wily, crafty fox said, Let it be me. The animals indeed agreed immediately, because as we all know, the fox is famous for being full of tricks and full of wise ways. So, of course, the animal said, This is a perfect idea. You are a crafty sly fox and Ngalmevana is mischievous. You are going to be the perfect person, the perfect animal to catch this beast. The rains came and the fox of course did as instructed. Nightfall came and the fox stood guard over the water. He stood guard and he stayed awake. He stayed awake all night. But then, you know when it is darkest, just before dawn, sleep overcame the fox and he found himself nodding. And he found himself nodding. And he found himself nodding and he fell asleep. As soon as he fell asleep, Ung Almevana appeared. He looked around, saw that the fox was fast asleep and he drank up all the water. <laughs> all gone and then he vanished immediately thereafter the sun came up when the sun came up the fox woke up when the fox woke up he looked around and he saw oh no all the water is gone and he started singing a song which means oh the waters of all the great animals of the kalahari have been drank by the wicked in Galmevan. i fell asleep i fell asleep because the sleep before dawn is the most taste the most delicious sleep Kids, you know exactly how delicious that sleep is. You know how hard your mom has to wake you up before you go to school. Because sleep is the 
nicest and tastiest just before dawn. <laughs> when the animals heard the song, oh, they all came out rushing. They all came out rushing and they were very, very upset. They were very angry with Fox, so angry with the Fox that they chased him away and told him to come back the next year. The rains came. When the rains were falling, the animals had to hold another meeting. And at this meeting, they had to decide who was going to stand guard and watch over the water. The wise old elephant said, let it be me. Let it be me who stands guard over the water. Well, the animals agreed. They said, elephant, you are indeed very, very wise. You are old and very wise and very large. Surely nothing can slip by you. Nightfall came and the elephant stood guard. The elephant stood guard over the water and he kept awake. He stayed awake all night. But then, when it was darkest just before dawn, the elephant started nodding. He started nodding. He started nodding and he fell asleep. When the elephant fell asleep, guess who should appear? Ungalmevan. Ungalmevan appeared. He appeared, he looked around, he saw that the elephant was sleeping and what did he do? He drank up all the water and quick as a flash, he was gone. As soon as he left, the sun appeared. When the sun appeared, the elephant woke up. When he woke up, he looked around and he saw that all the water was gone. He too started singing the song. Hey! When the animals heard that song, they all came furiously rushing towards the elephant. The elephant tried to protest, I, but guys, I tried to stay awake. The animal said, no, you failed us. You failed us, elephant. And just like the fox, they told him to run away and come back next year. The rains came. When the rains came, the animals held a meeting. This time, nobody wanted to volunteer to stand guard over the water. Then there was a still quiet voice which said, I will do it. The animals looked around and when they looked around, how? The turtle, the oldest turtle said he will do it. The animals looked at him and said, I scolpat, no turtle, you cannot do it. You are so old and you move slowly. The fox couldn't do anything and he's so fast, quick as a fox. The elephant could do nothing. He is so big and strong, he failed. You are old and you are slow. No tortoise, no, no turtle, stay away. But the turtle said no. I am the oldest person here, therefore, I will know what to do. Hey, the elephant, the, the, the animals then felt, okay, well, there must be no other way. Let us then see what the turtle will do. Nightfall came and the turtle stood by his post. He sat, he put his head in his shell, he disappeared into his shell. All night, nightfall came and when it was darkest, just before dawn, who should appear? Ngalmevan. Ngalmevan appeared. He looked around and he saw that, no man, this time there is no animal here. And he started drinking all the water. As soon as he started drinking all the water, the wise old turtle crept out of his shell. He had laid a trap for Rungal Mevan. He had laid a trap for Rungal Mevan and Gal Mevan fell straight into the trap that the turtle had left for him. 
Gal member could go no way. He was trapped. He was stuck. Ha! The sun came up. And Gal Mevana was still there. When the sun came up, the wise old turtle sang a song. Aman Zenyamaka Zana Zonke Zonke Betu Akiwe Mungal Mevan Bendi Lel Ubutong Obezol Ubutong Obezol Obumland. As usual, the, the animals, they all came out very, very angry, very, very furiously, expecting the worst. But to their surprise, there was Unkali Mevan, trapped in the trap that the turtle, the tortoise, had left for him. Ah, oh, the animals, they were pleasantly surprised, and they congratulated and thanked the wise old turtle. And then the animals told Unkali Mevan, Unkali Mevan, if you know what is good for you, you are going to disappear. You are going to disappear. You are never going to come back. No person, no man, no animal will ever see or hear from you ever again. And that is why, friends, to this day, no human being, no animal knows what Unkal Mevana looks like because he was forever banished from the animals by the animals. Till next time, friends. Goodbye. Back to you. Aman senya makazana zonke zonke bethu akiwe ngungal mevan bindi lelu butongo bezolo ubutongo bezolo bumnandi. Hello everyone, welcome back to another story time. Ika Malam and I am not alone. I'm out here with Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What did you do? Ah um, what did I do? I <laughs> Yes, that's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will be reading this book. The title of this book is A Family is Like a Cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uzas enjoy a kanjan is. Uzas enjoy a is, I promise. Okay. A family is like a cake. Our family are the people we feel we belong to. Families are the people who think about us and remember us and watch us as we grow and change. Families are the people who help us feel we belong. When we are with our family, whenever we might be in the world, we feel like we are home. Okay, so then explain him. The money was bloody. But who the lay? The lay. Oh, but they say you write at home. True, true, that's true. Get to the cake. Okay. Families can help you feel you belong even when you are apart from them. Families give us help, support, and love. And I see in the, in the picture, I have mm -hmm. it. It left it like only who could tell it only. So eh, well, eh, eh, true. That's okay. true. Growing up in a family is a lot like making a fabulous cake. Cake can be different shapes and sizes, flavors, colors, and layers. That's true! Mm -hmm. Yes, I love all sorts of cake. I like chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. I like any kind of cake, cake. Ooh. I like any kind of cake. I like <laughs> That's because cakes are made up of many different ingredients.
which are then mixed together in careful ways and baked to create something truly delicious and amazing. That's nice. Mm -hmm. A family is a bit like a cake. Families come in different shapes and different sizes. Some are sweet and some can be a bit spicy. Some have extra ingredients and some have just a few. Some families are warm and gooey or cool and firm, and some can be totally different. It takes a special combination of ingredients to make a good cake. Yes, it takes a special combination of ingredients to make a family too. Each family has its own ingredients, its own kind of love and its own rules, which is why every family is different. Families can share the, the tough times, help you learn from mistakes and encourage you when you might feel a little bit flat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true, yes, okay, families also help celebrate wonderful moments and give you the careful opportunities to do the things you might never do with others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Wow. Wow. Like the baby that's crying right now. Yes, <laughs> like the baby that's crying. It takes all kinds of different ingredients to make a cake. And it can take many different ingredients to make a family too. Families have people, traditions, games, and stories that hold them together. They have rules and they have laughter. <laughs> Yes. True. Sometimes the ingredients are the same, and sometimes we mix it up a little bit. Sometimes a family might share a name, and sometimes people with different names can make up a wonderful family. Uh -huh. Yes, that's true. There is no right or wrong type of cake, and there is no right or wrong type of family. It doesn't really matter where the family is, where they live, or how big they are, but when they work together, they are oh so good. Do you think the family is telling each other a story? Yes, it's definitely. A yes, definitely. Good family. Yes. Yes, you, <laughs> you are a very important part of your family mix. You might even belong in different ways to different parts of your family. Yes. <laughs> when we are making a delicious cake, it's important that we give it the right support it needs until it is quite ready. Without support, things can get a bit messy. While we are growing, we need help and support from others. Our families keep a watchful eye on us. 
Uh huh. Oh yes. Yes. True. Uh, oh wow. <laughs> they set limits and tell us what to do so that we can stay safe and turn out to be amazing. It doesn't really matter how the support looks, as long as it is the right kind of support for us. A family's love, traditions, rules and laughter can hold the family together, even if things get wobbly. <laughs> oh yes yes true cakes don't always turn out the way that we hope mm. oh it will some families might need some extra help to get things to turn out as we get older, families mean different things to us. We might start thinking about forming our own part of the family, adding a special other person, choosing our own mix, and making a whole new family batch. Everyone has different ideas about what type of cake is the best. The best kind of family cake is the one that has loving ingredients, kind support, and some help if things get too sticky. Hey, yes, I think mm. hey, every family is the best. Oh, wow. The best one. All those ingredients, all the Oh, wow. There's love. Uh huh. Love mm hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, man. <laughs> families can be the making of us families can be the treat you have every day <laughs> oh, Madonna, that family looks just like that cake yes. delicious <laughs> yum delicious <laughs> the end mm -hmm. what I learned from the story that mm -hmm. is that in a family that uh -huh. just True, so that's that true. Wow, different ingredients. Mm. One cake. So true. Different people in the family make one family. Yes. Yay. Oh, wow. Yay. I'm glad you are learning. I hope you guys at home are also learning from this story. Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Yini no ke makai. Thank you for joining us here on Quarren TV or on your channel of choice, Mpuma TV on 260. Make sure you join us again for another fun-filled episode of Quarren TV. It's show me our Kongeli Kali Lockdown. I was your host and still am the fabulous Uklapi Sozweni. Make sure you wash your hands, stay indoors. I will be back. <laughs> I'm gone.